Hi. Hello. Good morning. I think I better get my um, cord so we don't lose power here. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I was <clears throat> looking down into the um, bar at the bottom and it said that we were almost out of power, so I didn't want to just suddenly leave you <laughs> as... Um, good morning, I've got my tea, hot tea. How are you today? It's Saturday. Wow, Saturday the 10th of April. Today, I have my very small version of the Message Bible. It's like a pocket ver version or purse version. And uh, it is Psalm 100. This is the day we're switching over. We were going to have three different versions <clears throat> that we read through in our journey. We started out with the Amplified Version which was wonderful. Learning to pray the Psalms in the Amplified Version is a treat. And then we went for 50 more Psalms. The, the Passion Translation up until yesterday, and now we're switching to the message. And this is something that was written by, or translated by Eugene Peterson in 1993. Um, he translated the whole Bible. This is just the part I have here is the New Testament and Psalms and Proverbs. So um, I wanted to read to you a little introduction to the Psalms by Eugene Peterson, just to give you his heart behind this. And I think it will help us in our prayer time as well. Um, it's all about prayer. <laughs> It says most Christians are most, for most of the Christian centuries have learned to pray by praying the Psalms. This is where people have learned to pray is through praying the Psalms. The Hebrews with several centuries of a head start on us in matters of prayer and worship provided us with this prayer book that gives us a language adequate for responding to the God who speaks to us. The stimulus to paraphrase the Psalms into a contemporary idiom comes from my lifetime of work as a pastor. As a pastor, I was charged with, among other things, teaching people to pray, helping them to give voice to the entire experience of being human. I think that's really amazing. He wanted to give people a voice to the entire experience of being human and to do it both honestly and thoroughly. He found that it was not as easy as he expected. Getting started was easy enough. The impulse to pray is deep within us at the very center of our created being. And so practically anything will do, will do to get us started. Even just saying help or thanks are our basic prayers, but honesty and thoroughness didn't come quite as spontaneously. So, uh, hi, Michelle, I'm reading from the message translation, which we are um, starting today. We've been in Passion Translation, and now we're in Psalm 100, so we're switching over to um, the message. And this is the introduction to the Psalms. I just wanted to read from Eugene Peterson, uh, the person that translated this message Bible. Um I think what he's saying in the next paragraph or two is that a lot of people feel inadequate in their prayers. And um, he's saying that the psalmist 
and the translation of the Psalms has really cleaned up the grittiness and the gut gutsiness of the people who were talking, David and others, as we've seen. And they were not polished or polite in their approach uh, when they wrote. Um, in, uh, inexperienced or new Christians, he said, suppose that there must be an insider language that's needed to acquire God <laughs> or to be taken seriously in prayer. Prayer is not that, he said, it is elemental, it is not an advanced language. It's the means by which our language becomes honest and true and personal in response to God. Now, I just want to say something here. I, there's almost nothing I love more than people being honest and truthful and uh, just themselves. And I think that's what he's talking about here, um, that the Lord appreciates us coming that way to him. But there's different kinds of prayer. And when we are praying, sometimes we are making declarations and we are interceding for our nation or for our families or friends. And um, these kinds of prayers are different. So um, there is actually um, a point in which we learn how to exercise our authority in prayer. And so um, that also is what we are doing during this time of reading the Psalms. And I don't want to mislead you by thinking that we're only learning how to be honest before the Lord, which is what I believe all of us should be able to learn to do. There's really no other way <laughs> to come to him. Um, but we must also come to him in faith. And sometimes we need to rise up in our faith. And um, so we'll just, we'll just enjoy these last 50 uh, Psalms together in the message and see where it takes us in our thought process to prayer in prayer and a different take than the Amplified, which we started in the first 50 chapters and the, and the Passion Translation, which we've been in the last 50 chapters. So um, if you have a message translation version uh, access to one, we're going to be in that from now, from Psalm 100 to Psalm 150. And I'll start reading today in Psalm 100 you'd like to follow along. It's really short, just a few verses. All right, it's a Thanksgiving Psalm, and it says, On your feet now, applaud God. Bring a gift of laughter. Sing yourselves into his presence. <clears throat> know this, God is God, and God, God, he made us. He didn't, we didn't make him. We're his people his well-tended sheep. Enter with the password, thank you. <laughs> Make yourselves at home, talking praise. Thank him and worship him. For God is sheer beauty, all loyal always and ever. So this is a very short psalm here. Let's um, pray through this. Thanksgiving Psalm, it's called. The thing about also this um, little Bible that I have, it doesn't have any notes in it, so I'm going to have to find my notes elsewhere. But for now, um, let's do the, we've been doing prophetic acts. Um, well, Bill says my battery's running low. Let me make sure this isn't going to die. Sorry. Okay, so we've been doing prophetic acts. Here I am in my pajamas. Sorry about that. But I wanted to stand up and applaud God. That's what we do. When we see something in the scriptures, we do it along with the word. 
as a prophetic act. We've been practicing that. So I just wanted to stand up and applaud God as it says in verse one, give him the gift of laughter. <laughs> this is our gift to you today, Lord, that we would laugh in your presence. And we sing ourselves into your presence. Sometimes when we worship, don't you feel like you're just becoming so close to him? And knowing this, that we, that, um, I'm so sorry, I feel like my battery is still going to. It's completely plugged in. Huh. I hope I don't lose you. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We'll just finish this up. Um, we need to realize that he made us. We're the sheep of his pasture, as it says here, well-tended sheep, well-tended sheep. And, he, and we did not make him. So our password, I thought when I read this earlier, I could change one of my passwords on my computer just to thank you. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving is what um, the King James says. But this is our password, making ourselves at home, talking praise and thanking him and worshiping him. And the last scripture says he sheer beauty, all generous in love, loyal always and ever. And so I just want to spend a moment thanking him and praising him in this last uh, verse here. Lord, we thank you and we praise you and we honor you. We love you. We praise you and we thank you for you are sheer beauty. You are generous in love. You are loyal always and forever. We thank you and we praise you, Lord. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much, God. Lord, teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray. That's what we want to do. We want to learn how to pray effectively. The effective prayers of a righteous man do wonders. Yes, hello, Michelle. All right, so that's all for today. I just wanted to get us started in Psalm 100 in the message translation. And I hope you have a great day. Good to see you, Michelle. And um, we'll be in, not in the Word tomorrow as it's Sunday, but uh, Monday, I'll be back with you in Psalm 101. Looking forward to seeing you then. All right. Bye-bye.